Thank you bro. I found you guys have been here and you came back from the grave. It's been a while, I know. Sakes, anyway, I decided to upload Call of the Dead uh, because of how great the map was. Oh, it was cold, fun, Are you and blind, man? It brought more story into the zombies universe. Like and uh, it brought celebrity type characters just like See? Five with the president no, hey, and the rest hey, of the characters. Like you guys, the gameplay is provided by my friend Operation 115. Like His uh, channel will be down in the description. What's up for him and support him? And, uh, get back to hair let's and get to the topic at hand. I've always liked the I ship per crew of fearless explorers. Like it's hopeless. They're stranded and abandoned as high rain up. They're dreaming of discovering the true wardens. Right the element 115 unravels into a hellish nightmare. Call of the Dead is the ninth installment in the Zombies world on um, Black Ops 1 on the second DLC, which I don't know what the fuck it's called. There's a lot of characters, uh, Danny Trejo, Michelle, Michelle Geller, Robert England, Michael Rooker. Yeah, celebrity type characters to promote, like what, a movie or some shit? I don't know. It was pretty interesting. The story actually begins like, uh, George A. Romero was uh, filming a zombie movie called Call of the Dead, and these four were in it. But then 115 takes part in the shit and thinks we come crazy and. Zombie starts to appear and they take Romero and make him the zombie boss. He's not easy to kill. He's not easy. You kill him, he either gives you a death machine and a free perk bottle. He gives you a wonder waffle if you complete the easter egg. But the actual story is the four characters from Ascension are teleported by Gersh into the Siberian outpost. Which is a secret group in 935 in there that were... And done experimenting on them and apparently it caused a lot of problems apparently they need the help of the four characters in the map to get out and teleport to paradise which we'll cover in another video anyway here's some gameplay of the scavenger which is built by dr harvey yina which was he was working on it's a pretty good weapon it, it's a sniper rifle with a scope and when you fire, it fires a deadly bolt into the zombies, which will take some time to explode. The pack up punch version is called the Hyena Infrared, which is pretty powerful. It blows up upon impact, which gives slight damage. So you're gonna need a PhD flopper, which was introduced in Ascension. And this map brought the perk a uh, dead shot daiquiri, which basically steady aim. And here's George Romero getting mad. If you shoot at him, he'll get mad at you. If you make him go in the water, he'll calm down. Anyway, here, let's get into the, the VR-11. The VR-11 is more of a support weapon. It doesn't kill zombies. It turns them to humans. Sort of like a monkey bomb, distracting the humans until it kills them. It's not very much useful, um, but it's for the easter egg where you have to sacrifice a human to gain... Uh, to again collect the golden rod in the game which is pretty not for the easter egg give it to the four characters who are trapped out oh, and yeah and uh, the pack-a-punch version of this gun which is uh, the real yaw I think I don't know what it's called really well will can kill zombies with it you can turn them to humans and kill zombies see this weapon is not very much useful to fight zombies except it's good for a distraction type and i pretty much enjoyed using it but never tried using it for too much because it's not really that useful and it's just a support weapon like a monkey bomb thing Another thing that was introduced this map is the Matryoshka dolls from Ascension, which a bunch of Matryoshka dolls, you throw them to the ground and they start popping and exploding based on the color of what character you are. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the Z Evolution Episode 8 Call of the Dead. I'll see you guys later.